G'day guys, Pickle Tickles here, and I'm going to show you the better way to fix your nap. It's going to involve port forwarding. So first, you want to go to your settings. Go all settings. And go down to network. As you can see, mine is strict. So what you want to do go advanced settings and I want you to take down these numbers the ones on your console not on the screen now once you do that you want to set up a static IP so you want to go into your IP settings and switch it to manual now this is what I'm going to put in 10.0.0.56 so you'd want to put in first three numbers of your IP address and then change it to something on end like 445556 or something like that. Then you want to go to your subnet mask and this is going to be the same for everyone. It's 255.255.255.0. You change that and now you put your gateway IP address in. So mine is 10.0.0.138 if you can't find your gateway IP I'll show you that a bit later now next you want to go to your DNS settings now your primary DNS it's mine is the same as my gateway's IP it might be different for you but just try it out with your gateway IP for both primary and secondary and what you want to do is go to alternate MAC address and then clear and once you do that come up with this and you can go restart console then your console is going to restart then the next part is on the computer alright now the next part you want to do is get up command prompt. Now to do that you can go into your start menu and type in command prompt or you can just right click on the start menu and bring up command prompt and you want to go admin. Now this might take a bit to bring up this comes up with this, just click yes. Now what you want to type in is IP config not fit and that's all good. IP config. Now I'll bring up all of this information. Now what you want to do is find your default gateway. As you can see, that's mine right there. So you want to take that and you want to bring up the internet and you want to type it in. So 10.0.0.138. Alright. Now, you want to go into your, the, you want to go to your advanced, might be utilities or something like that. You want to bring up your WAN services. What you want to do is activate the demilitarization zone. So you enable that. And then you put in your Xbox's IP. And all these will be in the description of what you want to put in so you add a new port forwarding or well, port mapping I'll show you what to do it will open up and then you just want to name it I'll name it mine XL I'll just say it's 5 I'll delete whatever number 5 is Oh, let's wait for that to work. And anyway, number five, so you want to change it to UDP and put in 500. And again, in LAN, oh, one thing, 500. And then the destination IP, 
is the IP of your Xbox. So 10.0.056. And then you just add that in. Now you wanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. Already got it. You wanna do that with all of these. Every single one. I'll put the numbers in the description. But we wanna open up port mapping or port forwarding for all of them. Okay, so once you have restarted your router and restarted your Xbox and saved your port forwarding settings, go back into the network. And as you can see, my NAT is now open. Just from adding those, or well, opening those ports, it has now made my that top open and it should stay like this for when I want to game. If not, you can go back to that port forwarding website and find the games that struggled you struggle to play with and open the ports for that game as well. So I've been Pickle Tickles and hopefully this has helped you a lot. Thank you. You're the light, you're the night, you're the color of my blood.